Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 65 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. <laughs> and we're back down here today at the Entity Spawner uh, because I did some more swiddling with it uh, and I think got it even better. <laughs> so uh, I. Uh, yeah, of course I brought the redstone flux cell because this won't work without power. Uh, but I did add an ender chest here, so all the goodies go straight into the system, so there's no need to uh, transport it or anything. Um, there is only, there's one other thing that I want to take care of as well. Do I got this to... Oh, I need to readjust the size on this, so I better leave that on. Um, yeah, I still haven't adjusted the size on this thing. I need to bring the walls in and move everything just a little bit uh, so that we don't get guys stuck back here in the corners. Uh, but I added the chest, just like uh, Jake suggested. It's already got a connector here, so I didn't have to add any any more connectors or make anything extra. I just had to add the chest next to it, tell it to extract the jelly babies there, and tell this to insert the jelly babies into uh, the um, And this was... Uh, pretty easy just I had to set it up to item instead of like if you get this you do instead of doing logic or storage I did item and that allowed me to get to these uh, screens so <laughs> uh, I tested it out all I have to do is throw my jelly babies in here and you can see they're getting sucked out and we're getting blazes to spawn now. <laughs> Isn't that great? Oh, look, we already got one in the back there. Uh, yeah, definitely going to have to. I forgot all about that. I've been fiddle farting around and everything. But uh, there is an issue that I have with this is that can't easily get in and out and especially with uh, the <laughs> ender chest being here breaking the blocks uh, and then replacing them isn't an option because the blocks get sucked into the system and taken back to the base so I need a better way to get in and out easily without the mobs getting in and out so I was thinking of making a couple of that ethereal glass. Ethereal. And maybe um yeah, this. So if I just take a ethereal glass and put some amethyst around it. How do you make ethereal glass? Oh, okay, it's an eye of ender and four glass. That's nothing I can't do. Oh no, we got another guy over here. Oh, he got pushed by the other fan. So yeah, this is working good. I need to, need to move those. Let's go make this uh, glass stuff. Oops, it's getting dark. I've been twiddling around trying to get some latex going so that I can uh, finally build up some uh, block plate or block, yes, block placers for my source delivery system. And yeah, I've been uh, working down here to try and get uh, this all situated. Oh, I did this different, uh, uh, boop, boop. those over here. And, yeah, now it's the same. Uh, 
you done? I, yeah, I really need that block placer for here too, so I don't have to do this manually. <laughs> uh, that would definitely be the first order of business. Uh, so I went ahead and got uh, the latex processing unit. <laughs> I was just going to put the things on there, but it's so hard to not finish it that I just went ahead and finished it. <laughs> Uh, so we do have a latex processing unit, which is super cool. This is going to get us the rubber that we need. So I want to put this where it's going to get powered, but that it's also easy to get the latex to it. So maybe I'll just stick it over here in the corner. Um, I'm trying to think, I could, uh, I'd probably use a node to put this into the system. It, it, yeah, there's one right there, so it should be close enough, I think, maybe. If not, we might need a connector for it, but now we need to get some fluid to this guy. Uh, so, I guess just bring it down here. Um, this is one thing that I, I, always, I don't know, I can't get to this, <laughs> but it won't go over there. Uh, I would like to have extra latex, but I want to be able to use this as well as store it. Uh, but once I mark that as an output, it will no longer input into there. So side face. Uh, I guess I could do it like this. Ah. Nerds. Have to get rid of you. Ah, I keep doing the things. So maybe if I, oh yeah, I had, I can't go any higher than this <laughs> because uh, there's dirt. This is outside uh, of the building, and there's dirt pop so if I change that dirt it will it will show can I get you yes okay so that should then be able to pull out into to there and now it's filling up with latex it's off um that's right, I, you have to have water with this too. Um, now we could get water. I want to get this glass, the tinted ethereal glass. Let's bookmark that. Uh, because there are a couple ways that you could get water to this. There's uh, the aqueous accumulator, the aqueous accumulator from uh, thermal series that's always one of my favorite ways to get water um, but there's also I think you used to be able to use a sink uh, to get water uh, so I don't know if this one still works um, because the, the sink that I'm thinking of was from Pam's Harvest Craft and this is a sink from Cooking for Blockheads, so I'm not sure if that will work, but we can always try it. It's just some clay and uh, six iron. Uh, and this doesn't look too bad either. It's four copper. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they're both pretty cheap recipes. I have so much copper that this copper might as well be nothing. <laughs> so it's like two iron, two redstone, three iron, six iron. So it's basically the same. 
I think I'll try the aqueous accumulator just so I have a reason to use up some copper. Also, oh yeah, I made some of these auxiliar, auxiliary reaction chambers for my dynamos. Uh, Jake had said something about there being one specifically for the dynamos, and I was just looking at the wrong ones because it won't would go in there. And those were the ones that you can put in uh, your flux cells. I did, yeah, I put one in here. It increases your capacity and transfer rate. Uh, so yeah, I now can store 8 million in this one, but this one only holds 4. So it doubled the capacity, which is pretty cool. Um, I, that would be really nice to put in the ones that I'm going to be moving around. And I might want to upgrade this too, so it can hold even more power so that... Uh, yeah, I like I like my my power being stored. I am gonna be able I am gonna need to get more power, but for now this is good for running everything, especially since I just beefed these guys up. Uh, I could probably get rid of this other tank and put another auxiliary auxiliary <laughs> reaction chamber in there and get I think it would be six hundred forty RF a tick. Um, so yeah, if these guys are just going like mad right now, this one isn't going all the way, but you can tell these are at 480 RF a tick. So I'm not using all that power. It is filling up though. Um, I don't understand this. This is like sucking sucking in all the power it doesn't have any in it at all but this is completely full do i need to up my uh output increase by ten thousand oh it so it can output up to eight thousand now i guess because of the rf transfer there it goes. <laughs> now it's finally sucking down. All right. So it was just the transfer rate. That should really help uh, suck down all my power now, anyway. Uh, but yes, what was I doing? Uh, I believe I was getting a sink. Uh, or an aqueous accumulator. That's what I was going to do. Uh, so we're going to need some copper, some iron, some redstone, some glass. Ooh, does that mean since I don't have a stack of glass in here, am I out of glass? Ruh -ruh. Um... I, I would definitely need to do some... Oh, man, I don't have a very lot of sand. Uh, uh, no good. Um, I need to, to fix up my system down there so that it will start producing enough clay to back the system up to where it can also stockpile on sand and gravel uh, that would be that would be really nice to have a backlog of those things make a bucket uh, make a servo i think that's it right and an aqueous accumulator uh, i guess i should probably sleep Um, while we're at it, I want to, I'm going to go ahead and get that, uh, ethereal glass made. Boop, boop, boop. Um, oh, that's right. 
just store all my crystals. Look at all my crystals I got over here. Uh, I need four of those. I've been having a problem with my wood when I set this up. Check this out. So I have this configured uh, to be linked with this guy. Boop. Why are you not? Oh, that's my configuration tool, not my linking tool. Uh, you can see I have it highlighted and it has all of these blocks selected, but um, <laughs> it's not always getting taken care of business. Um, so I don't know, like there's some, like one piece of gravel up here that just never goes through, even though there's room, there's one bit of gravel there. Uh, <laughs> There are some acacia logs that could get moved for sure. Um, I had to manually move all the wood down there uh, so that it would, uh, you know, come in here. I, I don't know why it wasn't doing the thing. Um, but I think it is putting stuff in. It just wouldn't pull everything out. I don't know. I don't know why it's misbehaving, but it is. <laughs> it's misbehaving a little bit. Uh, it's kind of kind of weird. Uh, so we need a tent. We need ethereal glass, and then we need tinted ethereal glass. Oh, and that doubles it. Um. Yeah, I think I'll go get some more crystals and just turn all of that into tinted. Might as well, uh, in case I need it for somewhere else. Just have it. Where'd you go, buddy? I'm missing it. Here's here's the tenant. There it is. Okay. Boink. Now we got our tenant ethereal glass. Good times. Put you away. We can go get our aqueous accumulator hooked up to this so that we can start processing our latex and get it uh get it going. And we really don't need um, oh, the thing about this is you have to have water around it as well. Uh, you don't have to have that with the sink, so that, um, that could definitely, uh, be a reason to use the sink over the aqueous accumulator because the sink you can just place down and be done. Uh, but like I said, I'm not, I haven't, not 100% certain that the one from Cooking for Blockheads will work. I think it will. But it might not. So I need to get the water buckets. Um, I've been thinking, I've got, uh, some my days off coming up in a day or two and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do uh, so I think I'm gonna stream some some of my direwolf 20 but I'm going to uh, I don't know just fiddle fart around and try to finish up some things that I have that aren't finished. <laughs> some things, some projects, you know, that I haven't completed a hundred percent. That would be really good. I just need to get this to export and it should be good to go. Oh yes! <laughs> Now, I was trying to think where I would put the node. Well, 
but I already took up the spot directly behind it and above it. Oh, and it's it's out of power? Did I drain this thing already? Oh, this is just a basic one. I don't have any, any doodads on it. And now, and now it's dry because I, I, I might need to put this back down to a thousand. <laughs> Whoopsie, <laughs> I sucked up all of my energy into, uh, into my glory. Also, I was thinking of updating my quarry because the builder is quirky uh and even though i put it on uh, to destroy all of the cobble in when the quarry runs it's not doing that uh so i was going to do like i've seen a couple people do a digital miner with uh mechanism uh, but they now added uh, their uh, industrial for going back into, or not back into the mod pack, uh, but into the mod pack so that there are other ways to quarry now. And industrial for going has a way to do that as well. So I might look into doing that and maybe setting up. <laughs> I always want. To, I know this sounds weird, but I always want to set up a system let me show you uh, for for the oh, where is it uh, do 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 it's not the laser drill. Uh, for power because you can get some insane power. I, I don't I remember it being a lot before uh, But you know that I think that was before they had like big reactors and stuff like that, but So it might not be as much. It's it's the bio reactor. Let's do this bio bioreactor. Here's the biofuel generator and the bioreactor. You gotta have a lot of infrastructure in order to get this going on. I mean, you have to have at least nine automatic farms with seeds coming in in order to feed into uh, your biofuel generator to generate enough biofuel <laughs> to then put into your bioreactor or it might be reversed uh, you make one and then you can uh, use the other one for power one creates it and one uses it. Um, Yeah, it's not like... Oh, there is a book! I made this book so you can uh, easily check out anything to do with industrial foregoing in case they change anything. Uh, the generator section tells you all about the bioreactor yeah this the bioreactor is the one that creates biofuel uh, so it can use seeds saplings dyes and skulls <laughs> uh, I don't remember skulls being in there or dyes or saplings it was only seeds that it would accept uh, but having saplings too, that is crazy because I can, you know, I have tons of saplings sitting up here doing nothing. Uh, and if you can, 
I mean, look at all that stuff. I could totally, you know, use some oak saplings or dark oak saplings. I got even more over at my woodshed. Uh, so, yeah. But that would be great. And I think it would really tie in into my world over here. Because I think if I had uh, a more natural way to produce power, it would, it would just tie in. I don't know. Like a whole... Uh, reactor thing. I started kind of decorating over here. I kind of cleaned up the area and I replaced the whole middle part of the grass with coarse dirt so they can't uh, grow grass around here anymore. It's a little bit easier to look at now. <laughs> Uh, they still got, look at that, they still got tons of source jars. This this farm doesn't take near as much source as the animal farm, but I have two drigmies going over there. I don't know if this normally takes a bunch of source or not, but boy, they sure do suck it up really fast. They do. It's all empty and... Yeah, they use uh, quite a bit more. Let's see how this guy is doing over here. How you doing, buddy? He's got a little bit left. I might need to uh, see. Yeah, you can see the cobble coming in from the quarry. Uh, I might need to make a little bit of a coarse dirt pile around this just so I can able to see things. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Crazy stuff. All right. Uh, enough fiddle farting around. Uh, we got latex we need to set up. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, I can't go underneath. I could go over onto the left or right side of of the um, the processing unit. Like go over here, put the node there, uh, so that I could pull out the tiny dry rubbers. Um, I might have to do the right side, but I'd prefer to do the left, and then I can just cover it back up. But uh, if it's too far away, no, I think I'll do the left, and if I have to, I'll put a, uh, one of the connectors. Um, so let's get a node, um, and we'll want, I guess, just... No, we don't really need a filter. We just need a card. We need a card to just extract because we just want it to extract everything. Uh, two redstone, a lapis, and two nether quartz. It's your card. And now I have to have uh, four of you. Is it, is it iron bars? I don't think so. I think it's iron. Uh, four of that, and then one of those. Three of those. Two of those. I think. And what else? It was something else. Oh no, I completely forgot Direwolf's recipe. This is horrible. Um, oh, it was glass. Oh, it was a bit of glass that I forgot. Okay, I don't like this, that it has unrelated recipes together. I mean, they're related, but 
they're not <laughs> they're not okay so let's see if this is close enough to something to connect it to um get my wrench out Boop. yeah i think this is gonna be too far yeah it's it's exceeding the range so maybe we could clear out over here and uh hide a node uh not a node but a connector one two three don't forget the glass one two Just a little connector. Boop. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Dang it. I want you to connect to him. There we go. Now I want you to connect to him. There. It's connected. Now I can just uh, stick my card in there and say extract everything. There we go. Uh, now anything that goes in there goes into the system. Uh, we just need to hook up power and I'm completely out. Dude, what is taking up so much? I know I drained. Uh, maybe I should go turn this guy off for a little bit. Woo, that was loud. Look at that. Uh, I don't know if that's a visual glitch. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Say it. It was showing that I didn't have any... Uh, any mana at all. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so we're getting the uh, latex processing unit set up, uh, which is good. Now it should be, it's fully automated. <laughs> we just got to get it power. Uh, so we can just kind of power this up. And and forget that that's even back there. Except for the water. <laughs> you can see the water. Uh, anyway, this is all good and set up. Hopefully I'll be getting some more power in here. Um, I mean, is anything going up? Okay, this one's going up very, very slowly. But it's going up. So once this gets full, I should get power again. Oh boy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I guess that's it. I'm going to have to let this run for a while. Let some power build up and uh, get this thing to make some uh, some more latex so that I can get a block placer <laughs> and then we can uh, this will be fully automated I won't have to do to keep running over here to remember to put a log in so I'll be able to just put a block placer there and and then it'll be ready and I did hook power up to these so that they should be working a lot faster. Uh, that could be why I don't have any power too. I don't know how much power this sucks out uh, to increase it. So it takes five seconds with power. What does it take with no power? 
Well, actually, it doesn't have any power right now. It's all out. So it's doing five seconds without power right now. So. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.